gotta get comfy. Perfect. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is John. And this is Dick. And this is Nick. And we're about to go squirrel hunting. Thanks for joining us. Dick tip, always wear orange when firearm hunting. Make sure you're safe. John just got this Ruger 1022 a few months ago. Hasn't had a lot of chance to use it yet. Squirrel camp's a great time for a 22. First he's got to sight it in a little bit. He's got a target down yonder. Sight him in, make sure he's shooting where he wants to shoot. Go out and try and find some squirrels. Hello, hi. Three squares? You don't see that hole? High and left, I think. Let's go check his target. See what he's doing. Is it shooting in the middle at least? It's in the middle, but I aim low. Oh. So it's sighted in to 50 yards. And we got Kara out here too. She always enjoys the snow. What are you guys working on? They're wiring up a new headlight on Clem's Jeep. Dick's everybody's a local mechanic. And since Nick came out here, we said, hey man, we'll work on your headlight with you if you come squirrel hunt with us. So here we are at squirrel camp working on a headlight. Good to see you, Nick. Haven't seen you in a while. Ah, uh, Fort Green Bear. A uh, hunter's holiday, harvest away from home. The fire burning hot in our hearts and our minds. We're just taking care of stuff early in the morning, you know. The sun's just getting up for the day. We're waiting to see some animals moving around and then we're gonna take off, walk the trails, and see if we can't spook up some squirrels. Dick tip. You can use two quarters to call squirrels. Place one in your hand, scratch it with the other one. We left Nick and Dick back at the Jeep, working on the Jeep, and we just took care out. Basically, we're finding squirrels' nests, you know, and sit up there. I got my 410. John has his 1022. You can just take us a couple, a couple quarters. You place it in your hand like it's a sounding board. You take another quarter. And that's how you call squirrels, man. Since we're really bad at seeing squirrels, we decided that we're going to try calling this year. Uh, so, you know, we've been walking around for, you know, about an hour. We're going to keep walking around for about an hour more, then go back and see how the headlight is. Uh, haven't seen anything. We got a squirrel. Kara, go get him. 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 Kara, did you get him? Good girl. You said a good girl. You said a good girl. You said a good girl. Woo! Success! Damn, yay! Take it to John. Oh, you brought him his squirrel. You're a good girl. Look at that. So this is actually John's squirrel. This John shot it. Uh, I just hit mostly branch and tail. John doesn't know how to clean a squirrel, so I think I'm going to show him. You just come in here, just under the anus and you're slicing up toward the tail, and once you sever the tail, <coughs> don't cut into your finger, but once you sever the tail right there, step on the tail, and pull the legs, and pull the legs, and come straight up 
Wow. Isn't that cool? That's fast. Now, if John hadn't blown the top half of the body away. Jesus! If John hadn't blown the top half away, there'd be a whole squirrel dangling here. But since John severed the whole body uh, with a 22, uh, we pretty much just have the rear legs to work with. But you know, that's that's how you get a squirrel with the tail. Still pretty sharp. It is pretty sharp. Should just be able to like grab that. Take his pants off, more or less. <laughs> it's already chipped and beaten and broken. Since all we've got on here are the rear legs, I'm just gonna cut those off. Is that all the meat we have? I mean that's all stomach. That's all, yeah, that's all gut. There's some there is meat right here, like you can see the two back straps, but you like cook the squirrel whole and pick that off. Right. And there's not much squirrel to cook whole, and I didn't bring my squirrel cooker for so I'm just gonna come in here and like split the pelvis. That's the meat we got off John Squirrel after he obliterated the front half. Feel the table. That's why I need the table. <laughs> need multiple squirrels. That's Dick semi auto. Featured in the last squirrel camp video of Dick learning how to load his semi-auto. God, you look so good with the tent behind you and your gun on your shoulder. So yeah, we're just getting ready. They got Clem's car. I got Nick's car all fixed up. Kara's super excited about that squirrel. So we're gonna go see if we can find some more squirrels. Back out with Nick and Dick. By the way, I wish you guys would go on adventures together so we could do adventures with Nick and Dick. John and I are just out here. You know, we're about 150, 200 yards away from where we got the squirrel last time. We're gonna take them back over there and see if we can find some more squirrels. Repeat. So we're just walking around all the sections that aren't pine, looking for squirrel nests, using the quarter call. That was so effective earlier. Oh, we're just getting back into camp. Saw so, uh, no other squirrels, but it's okay. It's still a gorgeous day to be out in the woods, and we are going to get ourselves some lunch. Even if we don't see anything in the woods, especially at squirrel camp, we're, we're just happy to be out here, happy to have my dog back out in the woods after deer season. We already got one squirrel, which considering this is the third annual squirrel camp, we're doing infinitely better than any squirrel camp before. Can't see the jets, but you can hear them. We're right by Fort Grayling, and they do a lot of uh, horror rehearsal. It is not that late, it's not even five yet, and it's too dark to hunt. We got in a few hours of good hunting earlier though. Kara's been taking a nap, we ate a late lunch. Nick's probably gonna take his Jeep and go home and rejoin us tomorrow. John and I are probably gonna chop some wood. And it split some wood. Your mother could split wood. Your mother could split wood. <laughs> All right, well you have a safe drive out. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Here we are in the tent, everything's dark, cause Life in the tent is a dark place. There's Dick, taking his nap. Sleeping beauty. What a sleeping beauty. We're gonna wake him up, start splitting some wood so we can have some dinner. We're just sitting here drinking beers. We got wood chopped. Got that nice cart full of wood. Got a little bit of wood drying out here. And then for dinner, we've made this giant pizza pocket, similar to one we made last night. Just gonna hang out, drink beers, eat pizza, and then go to bed. Night, guys. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dick. Good morning. We're all just chilling out. It's bright and early. The sun's just starting to creep some light into us. We figure we're going to eat some breakfast burritos and drink some coffee. And then Nick's going to come out and show us where the squirrels are at. What are you guys doing? The squirrels are ready to go. Nick made it out here. So we got Nick and Dick and John and Kara and Drew. We're going squirrel hunting. We'll go out into the day, saddle up, pop in a couple cars, and uh, try and find some squirrels. Oh yeah, Kara's ready for a Jeep ride. Clem and I are riding in his Jeep, and I have to get in on the other side because Clem delivers mail. A huntsman in the woods. We found a bio, a tree diverse area. We're walking around. We've run into a lake that's not supposed to be here. And it doesn't look frozen hard enough, so we're gonna have to hike around that. And we've seen no signs of squirrels so far. Out here covering acres and acres of land, we found a tree diverse area, but it doesn't seem to be tree diverse enough for squirrels, or maybe too tree diverse. I haven't seen a lot of nut trees. 
Right, and I have seen maybe two things that might be squirrel nests, and that's about it. We might move to a different area. Uh, you know, we'll probably walk around here for another minute, move to a different area, see what's up. Pulled off the road in another spot by the river. We actually heard squirrels chittering in here. So now we're walking around this area, rubbing, rubbing quarters together. Whatever, we're gonna head back to the car. We got one last place to check out before we head back to Kara. Hold on, right there, on the ground, right there. Get it, Kara. It just ran under that fog. It was, it had a bushy tail and everything. Anyway, false alarm. We're gonna go check out this last spot and uh, maybe head back to camp and start that pork butt and hunt around camp more. Oh yeah, we got that nice road going. Cause this is how you find the squirrels. You gotta drive off the back roads, eh? Deck tip. Make sure you have ample ammo when small game hunting. Because you never know what you're gonna see. Anyway, so we came back here just by that old church, whatever. It's not even that old of a church, but whatever. We got Nick's friend Josh here. Josh has killed more squirrels than two, so he's doing better than the rest of us. Kara's having a good time. John's playing with his quarters. We're just walking up and down this road, uh, looking for squirrel nests, you know, shaking limbs, tapping quarters, having a good time. We decided we're done hunting for the day because I have to go back and put the pork butt in. So Dick's enjoying himself a post-hunt beer. We're gonna drive Josh back to his car. It's good meeting you, it was a good time. Maybe you'll be on more videos in the future. Nick did a good job making sure the dog didn't run off. The dog did a good job not running off. And John, you suck, you saw no squirrels. Yeah. Uh, everybody else, everybody's great but you. We're gonna go back to camp and uh, start that pork butt. Pork butt. Pork butt. Pork butt. We just finished a delightful pita lunch and now we're gonna put our pork butt on for the night because this is gonna take hours to cook. Just put a little butter in the Dutch oven. Then you go fat side up. Gonna, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a chore. I'm going to have to trim this to fit. Well, I guess we just got a little extra piece for breakfast tomorrow. So then we're going to cap that. I'm putting it on the stove. And we're just going to rotate it a quarter turn every ten minutes or so. Until it smells like a delicious pork butt. Then we're going to put barbecue sauce on it. And by then, Tom should be here. But I honestly think this is probably a good place to end the first episode, you know. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down in the corner. You know, this has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.